Once you've finished the initial knowledge check, Alex is going to take you to a screen that looks like this. And in the future, when you log in, you're going to log into a screen that looks like this. The pie chart in the middle is representing your progress through all of the topics that are assigned to you this particular quarter. This is what we talk about when we refer to the pie. Your goal is to get 100% completion of all topics by the end of the quarter, December 13th. And so you can kind of click around here and look at your progress and how you're doing on different topics, but really what you want to do now is go straight over here to this top corner. This tells you the next due homework assignment, which is prerequisite review due on September 25th. Click on Start My Path and it's going to take you to a homework assignment that has been custom made just for you. Now, I messed a few math problems up, which is why I actually have some prerequisite review stuff due. If you didn't mess any of the math problems up at all, then in this box right here, uh, if you click on this, there may be no review math problems for you to do at all. So you may or may not have stuff that's needed in this area. If you're working on problems in this part of Alex, so this is not a knowledge check, this is an actual homework assignment, your progress is being tracked by this green bar that's in the upper right hand corner up here. Uh, your goal is to fill in all of these boxes with green bars. And every time you get a problem correct, one more of these boxes gets filled in. If you get two problems correct in a row, then it fills in two boxes at a time. So if you do everything well, you could get this cleared just by solving three problems. If you get a problem wrong, it actually takes your progress away. So I'm gonna get a problem wrong here, and we'll see what it does. Say, oh, oops, I messed that up. You can see that it took my progress away and I have to try again. Now it is gonna give me an opportunity to just try this exact same problem again, Maybe I realize what I did wrong and I'm gonna try it one more time. You can see that I got it correct and I move on to the next problem and I can try this problem again and it looks like this one. It needs to be a positive exponent. So this would be one over u to the fifth. My brain is rusty. And since I got two in a row, I get double credit. So if I get one more right again, then this problem is going to be marked correct and off of my list of stuff to do. If you feel like, you know, you don't really want to be solving this problem, you'd like to be working on something else, you can hit this drop down menu right here and it'll give you an option to switch to a different problem. It saves your progress all of the time, so you don't have to worry about losing any of your progress. You can just kind of go back and forth between solving these problems. And once you get all of the problems complete, or if you got all of them complete in the prereq review, then this dark blue area will just be empty. There won't be anything here for you to select. If you would like to work even further ahead, you can click on this drop down menu. This shows you every single homework assignment that you have for the whole entire quarter. And so we could take a look at the very first homework assignment that's due on September 27th. Now for me, because I haven't finished my prerequisite review, all of these problems are locked, which means that I can only see the title of these problems. I can't actually work on any of them. However, once I finish my prerequisite review, those, some of those problems will start unlocking and I will be able to work ahead. So you're always able to work ahead in Alex once you get the current homework assignment due. Now, one last thing I wanna talk about with this is that some of these homework assignments, you'll see homework two, it says homework two, October 4th with KC with an object, objective completion knowledge check. So that means that once you finish this particular set of homework problems, when you've uh, answered all of these problems correctly, it's gonna give you another knowledge check, just like your very first knowledge check. So this will be an opportunity for you to try again, like maybe um, it's been a while since you took chemistry in high school and you didn't do as well as you hoped you would on the knowledge check initially, don't worry, you'll get another chance to do a knowledge check um, and uh, erase some of the future homework problems from what you actually have to do. And you can see that you'll be doing those knowledge checks every other week. So you'll have a lot of opportunity to work on eliminating homework problems from future assignments.